Mm, it's actually very autumn, isn't it? I love fall so much. For the first project, I got this flower for my birthday. And so little like, I don't know if it's like a decorative or like cookies. Me, I'm gonna use it more like as a candle holder. So great, that just comes right off. Here, 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 right here, here. Make sure we got a very generous amount. All right, so that's the first step here. So I don't know if you all can see, there we go two little leaves so let me go ahead and put those on I'm just gonna cut them off okay, so I just line the leaves up with the glue and I'm just sticking them on to the rim right. so here we go with the first one so it's got some green on them how cute is that go ahead and put my candle on and Ta-da! We got the first one, one and done. My summer candle. Yep, perfect. The second thing is that I got this headband from Daiso, so it was only like a dollar. I'm just gonna make a yellow headband. How are y'all doing anyway? Yaddy yaddy. So I'm gonna try to place them. Okay, so I got the first flower placed. Okay, so we got the second flower on. I also got, I think I said, mentioned already, I also got um, these yellow flowers from Daiso. So the headband was like a dollar. The flowers were also like a couple of bucks. So. Okay, so we have a cute little bougie, corsage style little headband. You can wear it this way, like that, on the side. Hello there. Hi. Do you want to pick some flowers? Okay. Simple and affordable way to bougie up something with some flowers. Alrighty, and then we're going to move on to the next thing. So we're going to be making some potpourri because I want to always have my closet not smelling musky or any of my clothes drawers. And as you know, I love rose scented things. So I did go to Ben Franklin. I'll put a clip up. Okay, below. so we have the cute little potpourri bags. They come in different sizes, of course, and colors. We like that. And here to the essential oils, and this is pretty much what we need to do is we need to get these essential oils and put the flowers in a bag and let it simmer for about a week or so. Avocado lavender is popular. Lavender is popular. However, I'm looking for something more sweet. They have rose. Rose. I will probably go with rose if you haven't noticed. Again, I can't tell you enough that I'm a rose girl. So we're gonna have to go with flowers. So I had some flowers for Mother's Day, also some flowers for my birthday, and also some flowers for my date. So I just kind of held on to them. And as you can see here, this is the most recent batch that I'm gonna be cutting. Essential oils are everywhere now, so I'm sure you'll be able to get your hands on some. And then you just choose your favorite scent. So I have the Rose Essential Oil. Oil, it's for aromatherapy, soap, candle, vaporizers, lotions, and diffusers. So really cheap. I only spent like, I think it was like five to $10. They also make great Mother's Day gifts or just gifts in general if you wanna gift your friend with some nice, cute little potpourri little sashes for their closet or for their underwear drawer or for whatever drawers or actually for the bathroom actually anywhere so you know I'm gonna be needing some bags just your whatever size ziploc bag step one is you're gonna get some flowers all right dried flowers so you're gonna just cut them You can also probably use um, some fake flowers too if you want. So I'll go ahead and show you guys. Hey, oh, excuse me and hello, sir. Hello. Apparently you made an appearance. Okay, so here are like the flowers. You can grab your bag. Throw all your flowers in. There you go. Grab some of the leaves. Grab your scent. Now, as far as the amount, you just use your discretion. 
I put five drops in one that I've already pre-made and soaked for a week. And that's actually still too strong for me. So I'm gonna just go with the same amount of flowers. So I'm, I'm gonna go with two to three drops. One, ooh. Two. It's not drops, it's more like dribble down, if that makes any sense. And then you wanna shake them up, make sure it's even. So that's that. I'm gonna put these on the side and soak. Your sashes that you wanna put them in. Oh, tie that up. And there you go. You can go and hang them. So you can make them in different sizes. So there you go. Oh, they smell lovely. You can put them in your little Mm, it's actually very autumn, isn't it? I love fall so much. Okay, so it's so fitting this video. I got some summer things as it comes to close DIY flower things and then also some fall potpourri. I'm making a makeup brush holder so that I can use it all year long. We have a, a jar. This is an old coffee jar. So have this old necklace that just all like worked and stretched out so I'm not going to be using it anymore so I am going to use it for this DIY. Here are the pearls. Since it's more decorative I got these cheap brushes from AliExpress. Five bucks or so but you can see they're all really cute. Brushes. I don't know we'll see we'll use the ribbon. Love. Love me, love me. Well there. And I know you guys are probably thinking, why on earth would she be cutting it up? And honestly, this thing is so damn heavy. It gives me a headache when I wear it. So uh, I've had it for over 10 years and I just think that the uh, change is good. So, and now I can appreciate it. So it's so cute because they're like all different sizes. We have those silver parts connected on the bottom, if you can see. So obviously you don't like those in them. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> I tell you, these nails, as glamorous as they are, I cannot do them. They're just not for me. I literally hurt myself. I can't even go to the bathroom. I can't type. I can't wash dishes. I just can't do anything. So, um, I wish I could, but unfortunately. Um, it was great because I had these pearls, but you can definitely find different pearl sizes, I'm sure, anywhere at any arts and craft place. And you can also just use whatever replacement that you want. But these are gonna help hold the uh, makeup brushes in place. Okay, so this is kind of what they look like. I don't know, I'm kind of liking this uh, neck choker portion of it. I do love my black and whites with pop of color. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this around the rim. That way it has a little bit of a sassiness to it. So as you can see, I'm using the neck choker. So it looks like this little thing is wearing a neck choker. So it's like got its cute little, pretty little white dress on, but of course it's a little bougie with its neck choker here. The back, it's got the chain. And then I still have this ribbon from the neck choker. So I'm going to use that. In part, so I'm actually either gonna let it hang like that or I might just like keep it dropped down. Well, um, yeah. Sorry, I do have one more DIY, but I have to take care of something, so I won't be able to complete that in this episode. I will, however, definitely take care of that next DIY on another episode, so please stay tuned. So I'll be using either these flowers, huh, these or these flowers, decorate these things. So thank you so much for subscribing and watching my videos. And for commenting, I love you, doll. Bye, doll. Oh. I'm